Hey YouTube, this is Sharp and Shiny with a quick video about some new knife pickups that I acquired recently. Here we have the Lion Steel Opera. And this is the first Lion Steel blade in my collection. It's also the first blade I have that's made out of D2 tool steel. So it's a lockback construction. Um, the description says it had dual thumb studs, but this one doesn't have any thumb studs. It's basically a two-handed opening. So I'm going to have to look into that a little bit. The blade is 2 and 7 eighths of an inch long. Closed, it is uh, 4 inches long. And the handles is made out of olive wood. It comes with a leather lanyard and a leather uh, pouch belt or belt pouch. As you can see here. So my first impressions, right out of the box, it was pretty sharp. Not hair shaving sharp, but I think just a little honing would get it uh, to hair shaving sharp, but it is pretty sharp. I do like the look. It's a beautifully designed blade. I'm glad to have it in the collection. Next up is the Buck Vantage. I think the model number is 346, and its blade is three and a quarter inch, and it's composed of 13C26 Sandvik steel. Closed is four and three eighths of an inch long and it weighs four ounces and the handle is charcoal diamond wood So what I really like about the buck knives, I think this might be my fourth or fifth What I really like about them is the heat treat that the steel gets uh, the legendary bolt boss heat treating uh, This was razor sharp right out of the box also found it on Amazon it was pretty cheap. Uh, we all juggle knives actually did a video about these and the prices. But pretty cool blade and glad to have it. Last but certainly not least is the Spyderco Matriarch 2. And this is just a beast of a blade. Uh, it's made out of VG10 steel with FRN handles. It has a lockback design as well. For guys that follow Spyderco, it, this is pretty much just a smaller version of the Spyderco Civilian. The blade is three and a half inches and close the knife is uh, five inches long. Let me just give you a shot of the blade. It's a pretty aggressive looking blade there. And I don't generally do serrations, but these are extremely sharp and I just like the design of the blade. There's a look at all the blades closed. So here they are again all laid out for you guys. I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out this video. You guys have a great day and stay sharp out there.